NTS GAT channel session day 6 in this video lecture we will discuss remaining rules about correct use of verb you can check the previous link in the description below so here we will discuss the point number 8 if the sentence includes will be or shall be then this sentence is of future indefinites and then you will use the verb first form plus ing these sentences are also include basically next day or tomorrow for example we shall be take exams tomorrow this is incorrect we shall be taking exam tomorrow this one is the correct option next example is we will be knit a sweat this is incorrect she will be knitting a sweat you are using here the verb first form plus i point number nine is if, if a sentence includes have had and has without mentioning any specific time then this sentence is of present perfect tense or past perfect then you will use the verb third form for example i have wrote a letter i have written a letter you are here using the third form of verb next one is the headmaster has making a speech this is incorrect the headmaster has made a speech the verb third form you are using here so this one is the correct he had came home before the sunset he had come home before the sunset because the third form of come is also come so you are using here the word come this is the correct sentence next key point is point number 10 if the sentence include has been had been will have been mentioning the duration or time then this sentence is of present perfect continuous or past perfect continuous or future perfect continuous so you will use the verb first form with ing and you will also use the since or for to indicate the duration for example we have been lived here for the two years this is the incorrect because you are using here the verb second form we have been living for two years this sentence is the correct one she has been plucked flowers since morning this is incorrect she has been plucking flower since morning you are using the verb first form with ing so this one is the correct option example number three is we had been played tennis since 10 o'clock we had been playing tennis since 10 o'clock so you are using the verb first form with ing so this sentence is the correct one key point number 11 is if the sentence includes will have or shall have as a helping word then this sentence is of future perfect tense such sentences also include the words by the next month by the next year or by now etc etc so you will use the verb third form for example the birds will have flying in the air by now the birds will have flown in the air by the now so you are using the word flown that is the third form next example is we shall have prepared for the examination by the next year this one is incorrect so the correct one is we shall have prepared for the examination by the next year so here you are using the verb third form so this sentence is the correct key point number 12 is when there are words like do does may outgo must could can should would might let to did etc etc in any uh, sort of sentence then you will use the verb first form after these words for example we should went to the river for a walk this is incorrect we should go you will use the verb first form after the word should we should go to the river for a walk so this sentence is the correct one next example is he ought to obey his parents he ought to obey his parents this sentence is the correct one example number three is let me go on this is the verb third form so this sentence is incorrect the correct one is let me go you are using the verb first form after let key point number 13 the first part of the sentence is past then the second part will also be passed you will use the verb second form another point is that if the second part of the sentence is routine wise or customary then you will use the first form of the verb for example i said that i take tea i said that i took tea so you are using here the verb second form took so this one is the correct sentence next example is she said to me that she knits a sweater she said to me that she knitted a sweater so you are using the verb second form so this sentence is correct he said that the earth was round he said that earth is round so this one is the correct one because this is just a universal fact and you are talking about the routine or customary point next key point is if the condition is being met in the future then you will use the present indefinite in conditional part and you will use the future indefinite in the second part for example if she come to me i shall help her if she comes to me i shall help her you are using the verb first form with s or es and but in the second part you are using the future indefinite so this one is the correct sentence if he goes there he meet his father 
if he goes there he will meet his father so you are using also will because the second part is the future indefinite tense so this one is the correct